Hi, this is Jeff Glenellis from Simple Forex System, and the guys over at PipSpring have asked me to put together a couple of videos for them to walk you through the process of not only loading up all of the templates and indicators and experts into your platform, but also to show you how to get the uh, charts loaded and get them operable. So the first thing let's talk about is uh, loading up the uh, charts into uh, your platform. Uh, most of you by now have probably been forced to convert over to the Build 600 that uh, MetaQuotes has been forced upon everyone. Uh, so let's go through that one first. Um, in uh, the the new way the uh, uh, the folder system is laid out under this Build 600, uh, the first thing that you need to do is you go over to the file view of your platform. You actually open your platform up this time. Uh, you go to the file view, you look for open data folder. You go ahead and you click on that and a the new folder view opens up. What you're looking for is the MQL4 file which you then want to open up. You will find an experts folder, you'll find an indicators folder. So what you want to do uh, for the experts that are involved in here, you want to open up the experts folder you then want to go back to the uh, uh, the Rinko folder where you have the uh, indicators and experts and templates laid out. Um, what I like to do, if you'll sh you'll click on the top EA, and in my case it's Pipspring EA, uh, go to the bottom, uh, click on it while holding down the shift key, all three will light up that way. You can then just right click, choose copy, then you go back to the folder view. Uh, I think it would have lost it. Hold on a second. There we go. You go back to the folder view. We have the experts folder opened up as a subfile of uh, the MQL4. You then just uh, uh, right click your mouse, you choose paste, uh, and there they are. Now you may be asked to approve something because you're the administrator or whatever. You know, you just go ahead and you click yes on all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we'll go back now to the indicators folder. Uh, you open that up. We'll go back to the uh, PipSpring folder once again. Now we're going to copy PipSpring 1 through 3. Again, just uh, click the top indicator, uh, click the bottom indicator while holding the shift key down. All of them will light up. Uh, right click, choose copy. We'll go back over to the uh, PipSpring indicators folder that we opened up. Uh, I'm going to have to go off to the side here a little bit so I can make this work. Uh, click, choose paste, and there they are. All three of them are in the uh, the indicator uh, folder now. Uh, if we go back to the same level that the MQL4 file is on, you'll notice there is a templates file. This is where you will copy your uh, PipSpring template into the folder. I believe in some of the written documentation it tells you to, to put it in the templates file inside the MQL folder. That is incorrect. You want to go to the uh, uh, template view that is on the same level as the MQL4 is. So let's go back over to PipSpring. Uh, we're just going to copy the template. There's only one of them. You hit copy. We'll come back over here to um, the platforms template folder. We click paste and there is the PipSpring template. Now if we close this uh, folder and then we open up um, the uh, the platform itself, we should see them. We should see these indicators in there. I may need to close it and reopen it again. Yeah, I do. I need to close it. We'll close it down. Let's see if I can remember where I, where I hid this. Sorry, that was a little bright white there. Uh, da -da -da, there it is. Let's just go ahead and reopen. Now, if you click on the, whoop, where did we go? We disappeared. Let's try it again. <laughs> Don't know what happened. That's the wonders of doing these videos. Um, if you click on the insert indicator custom, there's the pip spring indicators. Uh, if we go to the view navigator and we open up the expert advisors, you see the pip spring EA, the EA auto, and the Rinko EA. So, you know, pretty much everything is there. Double check on templates to make sure it's there. There it is, template. All right, fantastic. So everything is where we need it to be for the build 600 load. Now, if you're going to go about it uh, the old way, uh, you have uh, a uh, platform, for instance, that is still build you know, I don't know, whatever, uh, 509, I think it was the last one before they started upgrading. 
uh, it's it really is simple enough. Uh, you find your uh, icon, you right click, you choose open file location. We now have that open here. Uh, you find the experts folder, you double click. Now in the very bottom of the experts folder you see there are experts that are here. That's where you copy and paste the expert files. Uh, under that same heading you have the indicators folder that you open. This is where you copy Pipspring 1, 2, and 3. Those are the uh, the indicators. Uh, previous, uh, the other were experts. If I said indicators a second ago, I meant experts. At the bottom of the experts folder you copy in the experts. So. Then in indicators, you put in indicators. You go back out to the same level where the experts folder is at. You come down to uh, templates. Uh, you open that up. That's where you copy the template. It's very simple. There's some written documentation to walk you through this inside the file. So, you know, it shouldn't be any big deal. You guys should be able to uh, get this done very easily on your own. But, you know, with this new Build 600, I know it's difficult to... Uh, uh, to get used to doing things a new way, so that's why we made this video. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to show you how to actually load the experts up uh, onto your chart to start getting the Rinko charts that you want to see. So I'll see you back here in the next video.